Hello there, everyone. Welcome to Sunday Fun Day with Ladybugs Tampin. And for those on YouTube, thanks for watching the replay. And to all my replay viewers, I'm going to try to bring up my iPad so I can see you guys. Let's see. Let's see who's coming on here. Got a couple people already. Hello, everyone. Let's see. Trying to get my live up. Okay, here we go. All right, then let's see. Oh, hello, Jeannie. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Linda. Hello, Marjean. Hello, Kimberly. It doesn't tell me who else is watching. Just see those three. <laughs> Must be Marjean. Hello, everyone. Yeah, well, you know, I come out, I came on last week and did like a little Sunday fun day kind of thing. And I'm actually kind of liking that. Hello, Tamitha. Um, I'm kind of liking that because um, Sunday afternoons for me are very laid back. And uh, I'm not always doing something with my family. We, we, know, we no, normally do that on Saturdays or, you know, if we're going anywhere or anything like that. So... I thought it would probably be best if, I can't see what I'm watching here. Um, hello, Tamala. If we came on Sunday. So, it worked so well last week that, um, hello, Tamitha. Hello, Tamala. Hello, Brianna. <laughs> um, I thought it would be fun to come on today. So, I am going to, I'm just going to straighten up my camera. Hello, Janine. Did I say hi to you already? I'm not sure if I said hi to you. I can't tell how my camera's doing. No, okay. It's got to go back this way. Okay. Got to go back that way. I'm just trying to get my camera set up here. You see how it's kind of curved on there? Yeah. I don't know why I can't get my camera and my iPad to line up straight for me. Uh, my iPad shows one thing, but I'm thinking that's how it's recording, so, you know, I'll just try to put that back down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we're going to make a card. We're going to be using some items that are carrying over into the catalog, the new um, catalog starting in June, and then we're going to be, um, you know, featuring some items that are retiring at the end of May. Now, these supplies may be available. I haven't seen anything yet, but... I'm hoping that they're still available out there. I didn't see anything as of a while ago. I didn't see these out there. And so, so a couple of things that are not retiring is the Daisy stamp. And we actually have a new, smaller version of this type. Um, and these, uh, I can't think of what these are called. But they're adhesive backed like little sequin things. Um, but these two things are retiring. The sheet music background stamp is retiring. And then this... Uh, these uh, thinly dies, petals, and more. They actually go with this stamp set, which I just love. But I'm just going to be using one of the dies from here. And so I wanted to feature that. Hello, Miss K. So I thought we'd... And so this card is... Hello to my lovely. Hello, lovely. Um, so this card is actually based on a memory dex um, that I created for Mary um, over on Bobby's... Uh, uh, memory decks Facebook group where we make memory decks cards and we share them now I've only done it one time so far, but I'm hoping to make some more now that I've made my first one officially They're kind of like ATCs But in a memory decks form fashion so that you can put them in your memory decks um, Holder and you know you can flip through them and they've got little notes on the back of them. like I put my a little note and I, don't, I think I put my address on the back of it um, for her but it was really fun. So, I thought we'd just kind of make our item based off of that. Okay. Let me just try to straighten this up a little bit more. I'm just trying to get my screen because this is going on YouTube. Okay. So, let's sit back, enjoy, get you something. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> that was something behind, underneath my table. Sorry, guys. So get something to drink and sit back and watch. Now I will be trimming this video down for Facebook. So if you guys want to rewatch it, you can watch it over there on the card. I didn't last week, so I just posted it, but I will try to um, trim it down on this one. It's just hard for my phone because I have to um, send it straight from Facebook to YouTube. 
and then trying to do it over there, I'm lost. I need to really look at that. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get out a piece of uh, Whisper White cardstock, and this cardstock is actually cut at four by five and a quarter, and we also need, I almost forgot it guys, our Stamparatus, because I am using the um, a background stamp. And my background stamps are all generally not on wood. Uh, I just got a new background stamp, that Crackle Paint, and it's on wood, which I generally don't like it on wood. I, I'd like to just have it like this, but it's okay. So we're gonna take this out since we're gonna be using a rubber stamp. And I'm just gonna line this up using my grid. Line it back down here, and then I'm just gonna come back and pick it up like that. That way it's a little bit straight. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my um, four by four by five and a quarter piece of cardstock. Just gonna line up. Now, because my background stamp is so large, I'm not gonna be able to use my um, magnets on here. What you could do is make a piece larger than your stamp and you know use your magnets to hold it on there. But the background stamps tend to stamp very well. Oh, my grid paper, it's somewhere around here. <laughs> it's over right. Uh, so, you know, I could have made it larger and that would have worked, but like you could have taken, let's say this right here and you could have lined it up like this, put your uh, magnets on each side and stamped it. But I'm going to try to do it without the stamps, but I mean, without the magnets, we're going to attempt it. Okay. So let me line it up. I'm lining it up with the grid on here. We're going to see if it'll work. Okay. So I'm going to get out some basic gray ink and I'm going to ink up my pad my little ink and I'm gonna to try to ink this up really well because I'm only gonna have one shot at this <laughs> because I'm doing it the way I'm doing it okay but you guys again can do it the other way so I'm gonna take it got some ink on my fingers oh that's spread part of the course hello miss rose now let me say that some of the ink is gonna go on here okay um, I don't have, well, I can use some grid paper I have already used. Her. Let me use some grid paper here. Oh, I really don't wanna mess this up. This is gonna mess up because my grid's not gonna be straight. Yeah. Okay, you can do it like that. I hope it's straight though. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Okay. So I'm just gonna press on it a little bit. Use a glue dot to hold down your paper. That's a good idea there, Tamitha. I could have done a glue dot. That would have been perfect, huh? So I'm just gonna press on it a little bit because I only really had one chance to do this and I really want a good, you know, stamp image. Let's see if it worked. Aha, it worked. It's pretty straight. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna lift this up, put it over here. I'll clean it in a minute. So you guys don't have to watch me do that. Now, I'm gonna keep the ink pad out because we're gonna do a couple other little things. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out a sponge. I think I seen a stamper using, use big zig repos repositional glue on there, Misty, and now they don't have to. Okay, mm -hmm. wash tape underneath would work too. Yes, wash tape would work too. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna take this little, that's good tips, guys, um, this sponge, and I'm just gonna tap it in there and I'm going to roughly a, um, edge my cardstock with my stamped image on there. You can see that I'm getting a lot on the cardstock, on the image. Can you guys see? Kind of like how I'm, I'm, when I'm sponging, I'm not going straight, I'm not going straight down like this. I'm actually rocking it like this, okay? I'm actually going from this side, not straight. It'll give me more depth on my card. And because of the type of card I'm working on here, I wanted it to, you'll see when it's all finished. Hello, Nika. For, so for those that are joining, um, I've still got that big shot out there for, uh, you know, for, uh, good morning, Wendy. Thanks for sharing. Was that, uh, hi, Laura. So, uh, 
for the YouTube people on YouTube that aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you guys um, come over to fa the Facebook page and uh, contribute to that content. Like, you know, put on there, make a comment. I think it's make a comment, like a page, uh, share it. You get different things. And then, but I am going to give it out uh, probably the middle of May because I wanted. I want to get it shipped before the end of May, okay? All right, so the second thing we're going to do, we're going to still use this. We're going to get out our block. This is our D block. This needs to be cleaned again. And then I'm going to get out this this little, um, what do you call that? Daisy image. And I'm going to try to stamp it four times on this piece of cardstock that I have. We're going to see if I can stamp it four times. Now, when you're stamping this image, Okay, oh look, I have it on the edge. Um, when we punch it out, you don't want to try to punch, you don't want to try to stamp it kind of at angle. You want to stamp the image where these two petals are going um, up and down like that, okay? It will matter when we go to punch out this, this stamped image. Okay, let me see if I can get four out of here. Actually, I wanted six. I may have to go get another piece of red cardstock because I really need six. Okay. Okay, let me get one more piece of cardstock. I thought I had enough, but no, because I changed my mind. In the end, I just got another piece right here. Okay. Again, up and down. Up and down. Because we're going to make three flowers. Make sure you stamp on the cardstock. I got really low on that one. Hello, Miss Valeria. Okay, for that, that's all we need that for right now. We don't need those anymore. Now we're going to get out our punch, our daisy punch, and we're going to punch these out. And see how I'm talking about the how the punch is, the petals go up and down, straighten them down. That makes a difference when you stamp. Because if you just stamped, let's say I get angle like this on a big piece of cardstock, you wouldn't have been able to really punch out your flower. So you want to make sure it's kind of going straight up and down, okay? We're gonna punch these out. So this uh, memory decks, like I said, was my first one. Thanks, Bobby, for hosting that. And Mary, thanks for sending me yours. It was loved it. So I thought this would actually. I told Bobby. I said, you know what? This I could actually make into a card. And he said, that's the point, Denise. <laughs> I'm like, well, I know that, but you know, you can make it into a card, a memory decks, ATC. A scrapbook page even. I've even thought about making this into a scrapbook page. Okay. And then we're going to punch out these three. So how are you guys doing today? What are you guys making today? Are you guys creating or just chilling or what you doing? Studying the word? What you doing? What's on your agenda today? Watching a show? You watching TV? I always have something in the background, but... Um... Unless it's some kind of silly show. Right now, I've been watching this um, Australia show called McLeod's Daughters. And I am in the sixth season of this show. And some of the main characters are no longer on there. And it's just breaking my heart. <laughs> oh my gosh, today? Oh gosh, I'm working on the paper pumpkin pit and watching baseball. Oh, there you go. Love the paper pumpkin. Um, oh, Wendy, because you're in Australia, so it's Monday for you there. Yes. Okay, so we have all these. Oh, I get uh, mine on Wednesday, I think. Scrapbooking, Miss Linda. That's awesome. Okay, so then, out of the Petals and More Framelit Thinless Dies, I'm putting shelves together. Woohoo! Just chilling today. That sounds like fun. Out of this th uh, Thinless Set, I'm going to grab... Um, this, uh, like leaf kind of framelit die, and I'm actually going to put, take this and onto vellum and punt and run it through the big shot three times or any kind of die cutting machine that you have three times. Of course, I've already done that. And I have my three pieces right here. Okay. This is going to act like, um, did you get the Magnolia bundle? Yes, ma'am. Um... I'm, I was crafting yesterday, but was watching, oh, they, oh my gosh, oh, uh, okay, now you know I want to watch that, uh, mine's coming Tuesday, oh, yay, 
my everything Nika says I love McLeod's daughters and breaks my heart oh gosh don't tell me that Nika um but uh that's gonna break my heart my everything is rosy comes tomorrow so we can I'll probably do it on you know live unboxing make maybe we'll make a card tomorrow night and then I think my order does come Wednesday so oh good because it's on back order oh gosh don't tell me that girl Oh, don't tell me that. I'm glad I got mine ordered. Okay, now we're going to take some adhesive. And where's my um, my little buddy? Yeah. I like my little silicone mat when I'm doing these. We're going to take some of our Tombow. And I'm going to put take these and take two and put them together. You know, kind of like at an angle so it creates a fuller flower you know because if it's a daisy this just for really reminds me of a red gerber daisy i just love gerbers doesn't that cute so i'm gonna do this one yeah so yeah i did get mine ordered kimberly did you get you one ordered you know that magnolia was gonna be one of my favorites working a two working on two baby mini albums and watching person of interest on netflix oh person of interest i bet that's good that's my kind of shows Love me some crime shows. I don't know why, but I like, um, that's that investigativeness in, that I enjoy. Okay. No. Oh, I have to order blades tomorrow. Do you know when they will load on the website? I'm not sure there, uh, Jennifer, but are they coming out tomorrow? For real? I'm going to have to order some. I just have to order just some blades on an order. I'm not going to like that. Nika says, I'm about to die. I want to order them. Oh, you'll get to order it come um, June 4th, right? Yeah, June 4th. June 4th. Is that the one I'm using for the bingo? I can't remember. Okay, so now we have all three of our little flowers. And I did do three. Now, on the um, memory decks card, I only did two. Um, you're cleaning your desk, Valeria? I, I was doing that earlier. <laughs> like just picking up it's not too messy in here all right so now i'm gonna get these i can't remember what these are called um but they did carry over okay they come in this clear and of course the yellow yes trimmer blades i guess they're coming out tomorrow i'll have to go look i didn't see anything today but jennifer may have been online earlier and seen okay according to status okay blade the report the status report the blades will be ready tomorrow okay cool I'm going to use our dark black um, blend pen, the sampling blends. Oh, yeah, they're selling out fast. And I'm going to use the brush tip, and I'm actually going to color three of my little uh, crystals here. Okay, because I need, I've got three flowers, so I want three. I really like this card because it's got red, and I'm, I, my, you know, Red really is my favorite color. Pink is second, really. I mean, I love pink too, but red, just, I love this color. Okay, I get my little paper piercing tool. Don't forget, you guys, these are also retiring. So if you want one of these, I call them pokey tools. You guys need to go order some if they're not already sold out. I got plenty, so even if I lose one, I got back up, okay? So then we're going to take these and put these all three on here. Okay, so now we have our three um, daisies with our little cute little blinging centers. I just love this flower, y'all. Uh, off and on till September is what I heard. Oh, thanks, Dib. Okay, that's kind of what I heard that they were going to try to get the blades in and out. So I'm glad because I really would like to order some more too. I guess I won't order any tomorrow. Oh gosh, I keep hitting whatever I knock down. I have craft stuff everywhere in my room, guys. The paper, the piercing tool is sold out in the UK. Oh, goodness. Well, it is sold out. You guys can still get the new, this new tool. It's got everything. It's got, I call it my little pokey tool or, you know, paper piercing. You got all this little cute stuff that goes in there. So, this is still available. All right, we're going to put that to the side. Now, we're going to use another punch because I need some leaves. So, this, this card is very, is for, is not simple stamping. I will kind of show you how to do some simple what could be a little bit simple, but this is more for the advanced crafter here, okay? Hello, Joyce. And for those staying around at the end, oh, so for anybody that comments today on this, um, 
I'm going to pick one of y'all to send this card to, okay? I decided because I'm getting way too many cards and I just need to mail them out. So I'm going to punch out three, four, five, six. I'm going to do about six per two per flower. So I need six of these, okay? Then I'm just going to pick all these up and I'm just going to crumple them in my hand. I don't want to wet them. I know you can wet them and all that good stuff, you know, but I'm going to just try to do it without doing that. I love, yes, they are my favorite. Hello, Marlene, Mar Maureen. <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm going to pick one of you guys to send this to. I don't care where you're at. You could be in Australia. Oh, look, see, I'm going to have to do this one over because I broke it. And, okay, so it just really affected the stems and not the, um, the leaves like I wanted it to. So I'm going to have to just take my fingers and kind of just pinch them together and wiggle, wiggle them like this. So I'm just pinching them and kind of pushing them together. I'm going to have to punch out another one because that one tore. But that's okay. Okay, so we'll just take this back up. So, I don't care if you're in Australia, the UK, I can mail a card anywhere I want. I can't sell you anything, but I can mail it. Hello, Miss Kim. Um, but I can, um, but I can mail you a card. So, and I'm getting, y'all, I have like, oh my goodness. Um, you remember those little gold striped containers that we had a couple catalogs ago? I've got, I have to get my order in. Too much stuff to choose from. Plus, I'm doing the bingo this time. Yay, Jeannie. Oh, I'm so glad. I really missed you last time. I'm glad you're doing the bingo. We had so much fun. I haven't, I still have a Stamparatus to give out for bingo for some, one of the main prizes. Because the last one, they already had one. So, they just got to choose $50 or whatever the worth was of product out of the catalog. The new catalog. So, Hello, Miss Vicky. Good morning. G good day, mate. <laughs> bingo. Yes, Kim. Bingo has started. Or the RSVs have started. You just have to go to the website to reserve your spot. That was you, Miss Kim. Okay, that was you. Okay. Yeah, you already had one, so you um, just wanted some product. That's right. Okay. I knew there was... I couldn't remember who it was. See, that was a year ago. I've slept many nights since then. <laughs> Uh, yes, you can still sign to join. I just posted it yesterday on my website. So, I think there's a link down below. If you look down below. I bought the Magnolia Bundle. Wish they had released the DSP with it. Deanne, they did. Deanne, they did. Um, I'm not sure at this point. I think they are looking into it. Um, uh, you know, uh, they want a, you know, they're really good about the product, um, uh, you know, making sure the product works and all that good stuff. So, um, yes, I think they are working on something, but I'm not totally sure. You know, it just depends. Just depends on what's out there. We'll see what happens. I have to, I have got to go join so I can play bingo. Yes, we all have fun at bingo, don't we? Even though it's online, we still have a blast, you guys. And, you know, we, uh, I've got so many ways for you guys to earn door prize tickets this, um, this time. And as you guys complete each task, I have a spreadsheet already set up to go to put all your little names in there. I have lots of prizes because I have a lot of DSP left over. And, you know, I like to bag all that up for you guys. And I have some other little cool things I've been collecting. So, yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, so now we have all our elements ready. So I've got, if you can see, I've got three of these, three of the flowers, and six of these little green punched out leaves. All right, now, or what is that called? Yeah, the leaf punch. So now I've got to take my card base, and this is cut at four and a quarter by 11. You can score it at five and a half, or you can be like me, just fold it over. Use your bone folder. I just, I just picked one out, and I like to like crease it a little bit. Then I'm going to think, I'm thinking now on the memory decks, it literally was just this right here. I gotta turn this right upside. Wait, is this right upside? Yeah. Um, it was just this with these flowers on there. But since I'm making a card, I thought I would give it a garden green mat. And it's just a hint 
because of the green leaves. So, I, But see, then that looks too Christmassy to me. What do you guys think? Let's see if we put these on here. And I'm going to show you guys. Let's put our little leaves on here. We are going to stamp some of the stems on here. Do you guys think that would be look too Christmassy? I mean, this could be a Christmas card, I guess, if you wanted it to be. Do you guys think that garden green and red matte, that kind of was, is too much? Do you guys think that looks too Christmassy? What do you think? Oh, she said, I'm so... Okay, wait. Oh, did. Man, oh my, I didn't see that. Yes, Deanne, go look. Uh, let's see. I miss, um, I'll let Melissa know, too. We really did. Oh, good, Jennifer. Thanks. I'm behind on my emails. They released the Magnolia bundle. Uh, Jenny, uh, that just to uh, demonstrators. Um, eventually, that and a replacement for the Big Shot could be a year or so away. Yes. Um, thought it was a Christmas tree. <laughs> to Xmas. Yeah, I think so, too. Okay, black matte. Okay, I could do that. I was going to use vellum, actually. Um, but then I think I did that the other day with another card. And so I was like, uh-uh. Okay, we can try black. You know I like me some black. You know I'm all about my... I love me some black. It just looks classy. Let's see if I've got a piece here. Right here. We're going to bring our trimmer down. Yeah. As soon as I put that on there, I thought, well, I'm like, but that goes to show you, yet again, like Ruth says, you don't have to have a Christmas stamp to make a Christmas card because that would have been a beautiful Christmas card, okay? So just letting y'all know that you guys don't have to have a Christmas stamp to make a Christmas card, okay? Because daisies can be used for Christmas too, as far as I'm concerned. I love me some daisies, so I'll, I would... I would put them in my house at Christmas. Who says, who, who makes the rules on that Christmas decorating? Look what they, they use fruit. So, you know, that's for summertime. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. I like that a lot better with the black. So we're going to get out our Tombow. And we're just going to put us some. Um, oh, no, we're not. We're going to put this on top. Of here first because I forgot about my ribbon see on the memory decks card I didn't have to worry about a, the card base okay I'm gonna like that so that I got two ribbons out we're gonna use this is the real red uh, cotton ribbon this is three to eight inch and then this is our polka dot tool ribbon some do have a summer Christmas well that's true that's true people in Australia do don't they I love you couldn't you could definitely use it for a Christmas card yes so now we're going to take some of this ribbon this is how I made the memory decks and so I want to try to copy it as best as I can and we're going to take our trim our little paper snips white flax ribbon I almost used that I really did almost use that okay but I end up going with this pokey dot and I'm going to show you guys why here in just a minute uh, I think I want to go about right here on this one because I don't have a sentiment on there. So let me see. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so we'll do that. So let's get out one more thing. We need to stamp our, stamp our, um, what do you call it? The stem. <laughs> I need to stamp out the stem. And, um, I know it's got these little leaves right here, so I'm going to go ahead and get out my garden green. I really wanted just a straight line. Wait, did I use just the marker on this? I think I did. I don't think I actually used the stamp. I don't think, let me look at my picture. I had one here. Oh, no, I didn't. I think I just used a, I didn't use that. I used just the marker. So we're going to get out our garden green marker. <laughs> See, this is why you keep your markers around. All right, and then I'm just going to place my flowers how I kind of want them first. This is kind of how I did the memory decks too first. Okay, so I know I got to have one this way. So this is how I did this, okay? I went 
like that. And then I put it back and then I went like this, okay? Then I put it back. Now I only had two on that one, so this one's gonna be a little tricky. So we're gonna make it go straight up, okay? Just like that. Not an exact science. You can do it however you want. You can use the little, you can use this, okay? I just wanted to use the marker to make me a straight line because I really didn't want those little leaves on there. Now, I can come back with my ribbon. Take those off. Let's get us some, um, whatchamacallit, what's this called? Snail, snail adhesive. We're gonna take and take our ribbon and put some snail adhesive on the back. Okay. And we're just gonna take it like this and wrap it around like this and like this. Look at that. Then we're gonna take this and I'm actually gonna tie this in a knot, like somewhere here in the middle. Okay. I'm just gonna tie it in a very loose knot like that. And then I'm gonna trim it like that. And we're gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna to try to wrap it around. I kinda of want it like on the, on the, uh, towards this, right, okay? I know you're going, Denise, what are you doing? I know. But this is how I made the other one, okay? Just, just how I did it. And see, you don't always have to be exact. Just play with it. It's art, you know? It's your art. It's whatever you want it to be. This is what I wanted it to be, you know? Okay, now we're gonna take our adhesive and I'm just gonna put some quick lines through here and we're gonna adhere it to this. Okay. You guys are like, where is she going with this? Now I'm gonna take my, this is why I got this. This is the closest thing I could find to baby's breath because this card is inspired by a memory dex. I'm doing good, Miss Deborah. how are you? But the memory dex is inspired by an actual picture of a flower. This, and it was actually black, I mean red Gerber daisies and that's what it was inspired by. And they had some um, baby's breath. So this is the closest thing I could find. So I'm going to take and just lay a couple pieces on here and I'm going to use my silicone mat and I'm just going to tack it because I may have to cut that piece off down at the bottom. We're going to see. Hi, Alicia. And I'm just going to make it work. It doesn't come off the card, but okay. And then we're going to take, take this one. We only may need two. We'll see when we put it down. Okay, we may only need two. Okay, well, yeah, we're only gonna need two. Now on the memory decks, because it was, you see how long this was right here? What I had to do with the memory decks is I actually had to take these, this is why I cut out a different, another one, I guess, to show you all this, is I cut this down and I just kind of trimmed it, these little hard pieces, and I was able to get several pieces to kind of make it layered, okay? But I feel like this is layered enough. And so we're gonna go down and trim some because our flowers are gonna show through there. Okay, so really you could, only, you could use two. Then you just gotta come back here like this and do the same thing with this one. Trim it. Let's put a little bit more on there, just a little tack right there. And we're just gonna kind of fold it like this. Now, you may only see a little bit because of that flower right there, but that's okay. It's not meant to overpower the flower. You know how baby's breath, it just kind of gives it a little look to it, okay? All right, there we go. Now we're gonna get some of our dimensionals out because I want some two of these to be on dimensionals. All right. And we're not putting the leaves yet. We're gonna do that last. And then we're gonna take this one. I think I did this recently on another flower. Oh, that other card. Yeah, I did last week, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. Take this off. And 
I want that to go right there on the edge because I don't want to cut, I don't want to have to cut any of my flower off. So they're gonna be just like you would in a vase. Okay, we're gonna take that and put it right about there. So yeah, you're going, oh, I can't see that third flower. Well, you can't always see all the flowers in a vase, right? Now I can take some of these extra pieces that I cut off earlier and we're gonna trim off because I feel like I need some right here. We're gonna tuck it in a little bit. We're just gonna go in here like this and tuck it in, okay? And maybe we're gonna take this piece and cut it. I don't have to trim off of that. And we're just gonna tack that one the same. And I'm gonna put one right here, okay? Just kind of fill it in just a little bit. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna take our lovely little leaves. We're gonna to try to give each one of these two. Okay, we're gonna try. You can see I did not have this planned out. I'm just gonna put one, lift up my flower, kind of put it right there. Okay, and we're gonna tack that one. Maybe we'll tack a little bit up. And we're gonna come in here. We're gonna lift up our little flower. It's okay, it's not gonna hurt it. If it's if it's been a little bit, it's okay, guys, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Oh, did I just yell in y'all's ear? I'm so sorry. And then we're gonna take one down here. I'm gonna turn this around. And I had to put these on last because I couldn't see how I wanted them. Okay, now, where'd the other one go? Oh, there it goes. Now I can go back and put the other two. So this one, I'm just gonna lay right here. And this one, I'm going to put underneath here. I think I only put one leaf per flower on the original memory decks, but that's okay, this just fills it in. Okay, okay, just fills it in. This is a very, they would call advanced card, I guess, because I'm using so much, but it's okay. I really want it to go on this side right here. So I'm really gonna lift him up and put him down right there. I know he's like right there. That's okay. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Now I am gonna do the inside. I'm not gonna put a piece of uh, white, a whisper white cardstock on there. I'm strictly gonna take this, stamp it up, and I'm going to stamp me some flowers in here, okay? Just like this, like that, All right? And then I'm going to take this and kind of edge it just a little bit, kind of like I did the other one. Just a little bit. I could have done this first, I guess, before I put my card base on there, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm gonna even do this right here. And this will kind of define the inside of the card. See, look at that. And you can write on this, okay? You can use a, a marker and you can write on this. People can still see. Hey, Catherine. Thank you, guys. Yes, it would make a very nice Mother's Day card, wouldn't it? Oh, Kimberly, that's a great idea. I'm gonna have to make another one for my mother-in-law. Okay, so anybody that comments on this post and shares it out during the live, um, you guys, I'm gonna, send, I'm gonna pick one of y'all and send this to look in a little treat. I got so, uh, lots of paper, so you might get some DSP from me. That's what Janine's getting from last week. She finally, she had to go, oh, wait, I have another little additive. Okay, so I did add one little thing to her memory decks card that I actually created. I don't have a stamp for it, but I made. Now those that were in the group, don't say anything, but what do you think I made to put on here? Can anybody guess? 
I'm gonna give you just a few seconds to guess. Like, I'm gonna count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hello, Mary. Those daisies could pass as snowflakes, too. Sure could. <laughs> I did make a, a, a little ladybug. I mean, you know, I had to make a ladybug, right? So I used our one inch punch and some of our, um, I didn't use that one. Where's my red I had ready to go? I guess I'll get another piece. And I used some real red cardstock, punched out me a circle. <laughs> and then I took our little half inch punch and I cut out a piece of of uh, basic black. I'm going to go all the way in the center because I can use this for a mat later. Alright, so how I did this okay, is I just kind of laid it like that. Actually, I made a smaller one, but this card's bigger than the memory decks, okay? And I took our black marker and the little uh, fine tip. You can tell it by this little line. And I just literally created my own little ladybug. Okay. And then I took my brush tip and went in there and brushed it out with my marker. You know, hey, they ain't gonna make me a ladybug stamp. I'll make my own ladybug. Then I just went straight down I think you guys call them ladybirds in the UK. I'm not sure what they call them in Australia. Okay. I think I gave her bigger spots in some areas. You know, gotta be a little different here. Okay, like that. Uh, thanks, Wendy. All right, now I took a little bit of adhesive on the back and took our little half inch and made the little head like that, whoops like that and then I we have a chalk marker but it didn't work for me so I had to use my jelly roll jelly pen okay and I'm just gonna where's me some I'll do it on the back of this this can be a mat later okay make sure this is working there we go wow I just should have taken it on the back of that right and I just made her two little eyes Just like that. And then tagged her in there. It um it it's Izzy's cousin. There you go. <laughs> and I could actually lift this little ribbon up here. And kind of just kind of tucked her. Uh-oh, don't go up that far, honey. Don't go up that far. My, my whatchamacallit just came out. Hold on. This is live crafting, y'all, right here. Okay. We're going to tag her right in there. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> so you can do it without the ladybug, or you can put the little ladybug in there. I just thought the ladybug was too cute. I had to put her in there. All right. Well, thanks, you guys, for joining me this Sunday for another Sunday fun day. I'm liking my Sundays coming on here with you guys at 3 o'clock Central Time. Uh, and I will be back on next Sunday. Um, permitting, you know, I don't have anything going on. Normally, I don't. That's why I pick Sunday. But remember, if you guys want this stamps right here, this one is retiring. Get it before it uh, retired or, you know, no more supplies because it's only guaranteed until... I mean, it's never been guaranteed, I guess, right? It's supplies, while supplies last or the end of the month. Um, this one is carrying over, all right? And those framelits I use for this is, is uh, retiring as well. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for coming on and watching me. Aw, uh, thanks, Wendy. Um, thank you, guys, for coming on here and watching me. Thanks, Facebook. I know you guys can't see the comments, so next time, if you'd like to join, we will be on Sunday. Come like the Facebook page. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, I got to figure out how to shut it off first, don't I? <laughs> that was a little nice afternoon card, huh? You're welcome, guys. Okay, I have to stand up to turn it off.